what's going on my planting people today is a great day today marks the first day that we made it to 5,000 subscribers 5,000 subscribers <laughs> woke up this morning completely over the moon and I was trying to think what's the best way to celebrate this and to celebrate it with you my lovely community and the thing that came to my mind is you know what let's go buy some plants so that's exactly what we're gonna do there's a couple of plant nurseries nearby we're gonna go have a look and I think I think I'm gonna spoil myself to a new plant with that said let's go for it Okay, so we're here. We are at Islet Nurseries. To be fair, it's the first time I've actually been here. Um, I drive along this sort of motorway um, a few times, maybe a couple times a week. And I always see this place and I've always wanted to visit. But 5K baby, we're here, we're here. Let's go explore. Here we go, so. First, um, I couldn't, I couldn't first make things one. first. This reminds me a lot of like a normal garden center. Um, just the basics at the moment. Nothing exciting yet, a whole bag of, I thought these were onions. <laughs> These daffodils, how nice. I've seen it, spotted it over here. House plants. Oh, there's some external stuff as well. Where should we go first? House plants or garden plants? Let's go garden, all right. Save the best to last, is that what we're doing? All right, all right, all right. Okay. Let's look at the alpine section. Those are usually like little succulent kind of things. And look, free pot bin. <laughs> nice. Ooh, I've got some of these growing outside. I um, started off with one pot and then it just sort of exploded in growth and now it's just like spread all over. Like that's quite interesting, isn't it? Isn't that quite cool? Look at that. Oh, nice. I, w I w wouldn't mind like an arid sort of desert garden. Instead of having to cut the grass, like I've actually got to do that quite soon. In the next couple of days, I've got to go cut that grass and it's so long. Oh, there we go. Something like this I've got growing outside. And it grows these little offshoots here and it just sort of spread so it's grown so much and it flowered for the first time this year actually um but yeah how cool are those how cool very interesting plants one thing that i really i've always wanted was like a really big oak tree i don't know i'm just speaking such a vibe again in that sort of arid um, Mediterranean sort of vibe. Look <laughs> at this living wall. That's cool. That's not bad. I like that. Inspiration. Maybe one day you can have something like this on my garden wall instead of uh, just ivy growing wild. That's really cool. I like that. A little bit of inspiration. Who knows? Let me try this one here. Yeah. That is quite nice, isn't it? It's quite large. Look at the size of these leaves. Caterpillar. Caterpillar. Oh, that's cool. And we've got some fruit plants over here as well. Wow, this is quite large, isn't it? Oh, these are chilies. Chili peppers. Are these banana trees or are they oh they are moussa trees oh cool i'm sure these are hardy ones as well i think they you can grow these up outdoors as well we've actually got neighbors that grow lots of banana trees um as well so that's quite interesting takes me back to sort of tropical St. Lucian vibe. I guess these might be more greenhouse plants as well. 
it looks and feels. Yeah, some canna, canna plants as well. Yeah. Cool. I remember I had one of these kind of plants actually. I had one of these. Do you remember? One of these with a nice big red flower on it. And um, yeah, it's, uh, it's died now. <laughs> Some palm trees over here. Who, who doesn't love a palm tree? These are cool. These are very cool. Oh, got some agaves as well. Oh, it's a really cool agave. These are quite winter hardy as well, cold hardy. I did have one that I got from Anthony. Go check out that video if you haven't seen it already. His garden tour. I've got some lovely um, variety of agave. Well, fortunately, harsh winter killed them all. Um, but yeah, really cool, really nice, nice plant. Head the size of this one. This one is quite cool. With some absolutely ruthless spines or leaf tips. Look at that. That's crazy. You don't want to get stung by that. That one's about 50 pounds. Lovely, nice large specimen. Oh, don't these things look like little gummy bears or something? Just want to bite it. Is that just me? That might just be me. It's quite cool. Interestingly, it looks like islet nurseries also grow their own plants. I wasn't quite sure exactly what these were, but I noticed afterwards in the video um, that this is something that they actually do. Then we headed outdoors and the first thing that you notice is just the colors, the abundance of it, the textures. And you know what, after doing this tour today, I must admit that I have a new appreciation for outdoor gardening. I spotted a giant fern. Can you see the ferns over there? At the size of those, let's go have a look. Um, it's massive, at the size of that. So this is a fern tree. These are so cool. 149. It's quite pricey, isn't it? Oh, nope. 555. 550, sorry. So, not exactly the cheapest plants in the world. Ah, I love those aces, those Japanese maple trees. I did try to buy one of these before, but unfortunately, killed over, died. I think I repotted it a bit too early. I should have left it in its pot. And it just didn't make it. The idea was to get one and make a little bonsai up out of it, but wasn't successful. But this one's quite interesting for a little bonsai. Mm. Food for thought. 35 pounds basically, 34.99. That's a nice one, variegated leaves. That little pink sheen on the top there not too bad oh we've got some more different ones here little uh, lace leaf ones what are these ones called desicum viridis not bad yeah some really nice ones oh look at this one this one's quite large quite a big one so I go big or go home right how much, is, how much is this one going for? Let's have a look. 150. Hmm. Okay. They've got a little pond as well. Check that out. We've got some goldfish in it as well, I can see. I've just seen a really interesting pine tree or conifer tree. Let's have a look at that. Look at that. The weirdest looking Christmas tree I've ever seen. Look at that. That's quite cool. It's like quite like a hanging kind of vibe, maintenance free as well. Who doesn't like something that's maintenance free? Oh, it's a Sephora. <laughs> I gave my Sephora away actually. Um, do you remember I had the little, the little baby they called it? It was very small. Um, and I just wasn't aware that there was a larger one. This is called the Sun King. 
it reminds me a lot of uh, tamarind, like a tamarind tree, if you've ever seen one of those. Very similar leaf structure, which I like a lot. Now we're going to head over to the indoor plant section and see what they've got over there. You can already see a couple of unique plants. Let's go check it out. Oh, first thing you notice though is this how humid and warm it is in here. And some really cool plants already. Wow. Gotta love the Monstera, who doesn't? <laughs> oh, this is interesting. I've never seen somebody sell moss like this before. You know what? If I was making a terrarium, I'd have all the moss I needed. <laughs> Look at that. Look what I just picked up. So this is an alocasia. What type is this? I forgot the exact type of alocasia it is, right? But it's like the, the zebra one. Quite a cool stem. But if you look here, it's variegated. Oh my God. <laughs> Little variegated alocasia. How cool. It doesn't look like it's passed on to the rest of them. So it'll stay the same, but that's quite a, a rare find, isn't it? Not too bad. Oh, here's another one, actually. Yeah. No signs of irrigation on these ones. Some coconut palms as well. <laughs> How cool. Whoa, look at these anthuriums. Wow, talk about dark and lovely. My goodness. Wow. What an interesting anthurium. Anthurium and our uh, and our black. Not bad. Look at that, they've got some Venus fly traps down here. Lovely. Some really cool Nepenthes as well. I've got one of these, but only the one. Um, and it's just doing okay. It's quite leggy now. I think it's, it needs a repot at some point. I don't know if you can tell, but I have no method in terms of how I'm going around this shop. Just see wherever cap captures my, catches my eye and I'm going. Ah, oh, some lovely philodendron. What's this? Prince of Orange? Yeah, Prince of Orange. Oh, this is cool. Oh, is that real? Yeah, it's fake. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> oh my days, they, they got me. They got me. Of course, you got to have the rubber plant. Got to have the rubber trees over here. And some really cool orchids as well. Really cool orchids. Check out this little orchid. Nice. Little speckled purple dots. All lovely. Very nice. These are cool. I don't know what it is, but it's very cool. Look at the flowers when it opens. Oh, a little bit creepy. Oh, oh, ew. <laughs> Are these peppers? What's that? Oh, that's a that's cool. Look at the little flower on that. I wonder if it's carnivorous. It's called, called impatience. I don't know what it is. Quite a cool, interesting. Interesting plant. Yeah, it looks just like the um, the pitcher plant, the Nepenthes. Uh, it might, it might eat. Oh, one of them just fell off. Whoops, caused with a fiddle leaf fig. If you dare, if you dare try, if you wanna, if you like pain and suffering. To be fair, I do quite well with fiddle leaf figs actually. Mine's doing fine. It was a point where it started to decline. Started to go downhill. Took it out of the pond. That was it. And it did fine after that. Can't stop it from growing now. Oh yeah. Loving the cactus section. Loving it. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> How interesting. What a nice way to uh, just poke myself on this snake plant 
I shot that to you. What we've got bees and some aloe plants. Lots of anthuriums to pick from. These are your more sort of flamingo flower. Oh, these, they look different. I guess some of them you can tell they've mutated quite a lot. <laughs> it's just got loads of like, just issues. <laughs> oh, look at that. Look at that. That's not bad. That's what you call a cactus, mate. Look at that. That's deadly. If I brought that home, someone's getting hurt. 68 pounds. But that's quite nice. I like this um this uh jade plant. Whoa. See this kind of stuff I like. Amazing. Look at this. Little bubbly bubbly cactus. Uh, mam mammalaria cactus, that's quite cool. As is this one over here. I wonder if these are grafted onto something. Not bad, is it? I like that. Look at these things. Bright red. It looks like a fruit. Like you just take it off and eat it. Probably wouldn't advise it. Yeah, it's a it's a gymnas gymnasylum. And this, I think, is grafted on top of this. Different colours. There's a purple one there. Slightly orangish kind of one here. What's this one? Just that same bad boy cactus that we saw down there. 18 pounds. Uh, do you think I'd be allowed to bring this home? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, little Hoya Kerry. I, I never know if these actually have um, the stem on it and if it'll actually continue growing. Sometimes they might just uh, root the leaf only. And if that is the case, don't ever expect it to grow. It's just gonna stay exactly as it, as it is until it dies. And this is the forbidden Calathea section. Um, if you like spider mites, and again, you like pain and suffering, get yourself a Calathea, in my opinion. Ooh, look at that. Ow. That's cool. It's like little balls. How cool is that? This looks a bit like a Ethereum luxurians, isn't it? Look at that. But what it is, is a Pylea, I think? Oh, Peperomia. There you go. So many varieties. Little orange tree. For all your citrus needs. Look at these air plants. They have no roots. They're taking water through their through their leaves, you just have to dunk it in. And that's it, some people have it hanging in random little places. These are cool. But where exactly you put it, I don't know. Just like this. People have it hanging on displays like that. I think that's the end of this section. We're done. I think we're gonna head over to another plant nursery and see what they've got to offer. All right, so it's kind of windy, so I'm gonna make sure that you can actually hear me. I'm gonna try to protect it. But we are at Not Cuts. This is a place that I've been to in the past, and I think you might have even seen a video on that. I can't remember. But anyway, let's go through. We've got an amazing garden section in here. And they've always got these little, cool, interesting house plants on the inside as well. So let's go, let's take a look. This is what I'm saying. You, you've just, you've got to love an Acer, right? Look at that, look how gorgeous that is, beautiful. This is the Japanese maple. Amazing, amazing plant. Here's another variety, that's quite cool, quite large. I quite like these plants, I'm not sure what they are. It's a cottonous, I believe. I like the purple. They've also got some interesting um, flower formation things as well that I've seen. So nice tree. Interesting variegation on the leaves as well. How oh, cool. 
this is the alpine section that we saw um, these more succulent type plants that we saw at the previous location I like the way they've scaped this actually like the cascading pots it's quite interesting I love their, their fern trees over there you can see look at the size of that how oh, amazing just imagine if you could uh, have a look you could have these growing in your garden wouldn't that be amazing it's only 700 pounds not too bad but yes look at all of these Japanese maple trees ah, amazing have a look at that it's like so many to choose from all shapes and sizes if I had to choose one today I would choose to take this one home for the mere price of 525 pounds I could have this right in my garden imagine having a bench underneath this just chilling out and a hot summer's day be quite cool we won't go through the plants individually because we did we looked at so many of the similar plants at the other place so I think what we'll do is just go straight head on into the uh, house plant section so more cacti and bonsai as well interesting little bonsais that one's quite large actually that one is 69 pounds okay now we're talking house plants that's what we're really here for look at this cool little uh, begonia it's wobbly in the pot though quite love the cactus section as always so many cool little plants oh, look they've got a um, a denium over here a desert rose it's a baby one it's uh, a bit too wet these are some calatheas I also have this as well look at the size of these leaves oh my days this is the uh, Monstera, I forgot what, what it's called now. Oh, this is the Marble pla Planet. Um, look at the size of these leaves. I don't think mine have gotten this big. But that's very cool. Very cool little plant. Nice. Okay. Oh yeah, this plant is sharp though. This place doesn't only do plants though. We're gonna show you something interesting. Have a look at this. If you can see them. Oh look, you can see his little eye. And there's one under the under the clay. Oh look at this one. Oh my god. A little gerbil. Hello. Hello. Oh, he ran away. <laughs> it's like 50 pounds for a rabbit if you were wondering. Another one tucked away in the corner over there. Another rabbit. It's quite got quite a big chin there, doesn't it? That brings us to the end of this tour. I don't think there's much more to see. We got one more stop to make, and we're gonna do that now. On to our third and final place. This is Dutch Nurseries. This is actually where I bought my large rubber tree and also my philodendron imperial red. Two classic plants in the roots ready journey. It's been a little while since I've last been to Dutch and the first thing i noticed was this new fruit stand or fruit stall and i'm not sure if it's like a permanent fixture or what but the first thing that caught my eyes were these delicious looking nectarines and some delicious peaches definitely had to grab a couple of those before i left off we went to the garden center and the first thing i noticed was that i've seen a lot of these plants before in the last two nurseries that we've visited Plants are very seasonal, so you only get what's around at the time. So I didn't think it was best to walk through all of it. The thing that Dutch had that the others didn't was an incredible variety of olive trees. And as I said before, it's something that I always, always love. I just think it looks so prehistoric. It finds a way to sort of age a garden and make it look a lot more establish this one over here interestingly enough had some olives growing on it i'm not sure how long those take to get ready and to be ready to be eaten but that was pretty cool 
the larger ones were around 300 and this one which also had some really small olives on it this was going for about 70 pounds oh i've got my eye on this and when i finally decide to work on my garden i think i think i know where to go for some really cool olive trees the real show stealer though was this thing look at that look at the size of this thing this thing looks like it's about 50 to 100 years old i don't know how to age olive trees but what i did find though was that it reminded me of being in italy i was there a couple of weeks ago and they had loads of these trees all over the town and ah uh, this is the one i want and this went for about a thousand pounds once i was done playing with the olive trees i headed inside to the house plant section or the dutch jungle as they call it and the first thing that you see is just just the landscape of succulent plants just have a look at that so you have all of your classics here which just look really incredible also has some lovely air plants as well what i really like about these stores is that they take the time to really scape these plants just to make it look a lot more natural and i think it really helps to show you what you can sort of do in your own home over here has some really cool selections lots of mammalarias um, and other plants what i really like though is just how large these plants were this one over here i'm not quite sure the name of it can't quite remember uh, but i think it only went for around seven to eight pounds so it wasn't lots of money i really like the look of this one the thorns look really deadly but i really like the interesting shape it's not the first time we've seen this one and i keep being drawn to it i just know that it's going to grow so large and i'm not going to have any space to care for it you already know that i have a thing for bonsai so when i saw this one i think this is a ginseng i've got a small one in my kitchen um, and i saw this large one i was like yeah this is the one i think it went for about 70 to 80 pounds out of my budget but gosh that thing was beautiful so finally we went over to this section first thing i noticed was just the number of alocasia over here and i spotted this one this is the silver dragon both my alocasia black velvet and dragon scale are only just now beginning to bounce back so i didn't want to add another alocasia to that mix okay so i'm back home now and i must say the trip was a success um, we visited three plant nurseries today um, and some were better than others um, and i think once you've been to one especially because plants tend to be so seasonal um, you kind of seen a lot of what the other ones have to offer especially in sort of that garden space because you can only get what's in season at that very time but i did manage to get a couple of plants just a few um unique plants i wasn't going for anything too extravagant <laughs> so i wasn't going for anything too extravagant um i was looking for something more unique something that i don't have something that i'll kind of want to explore um and it's the best time to do it so without any further ado let me show you exactly what plants i managed to get on this haul very first nursery that we went to i picked up this little cactus look how weird and wonderful that is it's almost got like two balls right that's kind of the the, the shape of it and it's just got these mad mad thorns another thing that i actually really like is that these thorns although sharp they're quite soft so hopefully they won't damage me or anyone else in my household um so that was one of the reasons why it looks a lot more deadly than it than it is i think its bark is worse than its bite although i wouldn't really want to test that too much look if you get it at the right place in the right uh in the right angle um, then it's actually quite firm but in other angles it's quite flexible as well it's kind of a papery texture but you can also get paper cuts and those are not fun so this is the tephrocactus articulus now the other ones unfortunately we're not going to be as lucky to find the e exact um, name but i'll do my best to research and figure that out for you if not do let me know in the comments below if you know what species of cactus these are now the last of these plants are all from dutch our final destination um the second place the knot cuts that we went to unfortunately 
there just wasn't anything that was that that really caught my eye apart from some of the garden plants but that's not an area that I've particularly started to dive into just yet but one of the first ones that we got was this one right here so this is the ferrocactus hysterix this was one I actually saw at the Not Cuts, the second destination that we went to, um, and I thought it was quite cool, quite unique. No, it was the first one, but those ones, the design, it was very, very wavy, looked very, very different. So when I saw this one, I thought, yeah, this is quite cool. It's only a small one as well. I didn't want anything too big. Again, space is a virtue here. So we're running out of space, so trying to make the best <laughs> the best of the situation that we have by starting small and then growing large so yes this is uh this is that cactus and the reason why i got this is just again unique that's what i'm going for different this one the spikes are spiking they are nothing to play with trust me i've already poked myself just getting this thing in and out of, <laughs> in and out of the box definitely one to respect its space right because yeah just have a look at that so this is the second plant that we got on today's haul. There's a theme here because the third one is also <laughs> a cactus. Now this one, there was no tag on it. You can see it's handwritten here, five pounds for this one. So not too bad and quite large. But if I'm not mistaken, I think this might be a Gemnosylum or something or the other, um, it's quite cool. I remember when I first sort of got into cacti, I saw these and they're usually quite small. One of the things I was really interested in is just how many different varieties with the exact same plant there are because you know, there's so many breeders out there and they try to get these unique, interesting designs. So when I saw this one, it looks like it's been marked down as well. It's a little bit wobbly in its pot. So I think this one's gonna need a bit of a repot um, very, very soon. So I'll definitely get onto that. But the reason why I got this one, again, is one that I, looked at previously and I was quite fond of at the time. Um, but again, they were quite small and I was just like, uh, you know, cactus, I was just sort of dipping my toes into it. So now that I have this one, I'm gonna, you know, see see where it takes me. Now the final plant for a pop of color is this hypostis. Um, just look at that. Look at those colors. Oh my days. I'm not sure if there are two different plants in here, if it's the same, because one is a lot more white and speckled than the other. This one is definitely more green than this side. So it could be two separate plants. This again, it's quite small, um, only £2.50 as well. Just something different. Why not? Why not? Why not? These are the plants that I chose to celebrate this momentous moment. 5,000 subscribers. Thank you to every single person who has ever watched this channel, even though you're a subscriber or not. If you've liked my videos or not, if you comment or not, thank you for being here. This is pretty much a team effort. You know, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you, you know, just sharing and, 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 and appreciating my content and what I've got to say about my little hobby, this little place in the world where I do my thing. You've been invited into my home, into my space, and you likewise have allowed me into your space as well just by watching these videos so thank you so much for being part of this journey there's more to come there's more to come we're only just getting started so strap in for the ride listen it's going to be fun there's more delicious content coming up and also let me know what you think about the mini rebrand as well we got some new tunes you know we had to switch it up for 5k come on we had to switch it up uh and also the new graphics as well let me know what you think let me know but again Thank you so much for watching and as always, keep planting.